Hello YouTubers! I've started a new project. I've wanted to for a number of years do a a wagon for my little horse. Tiny. He's ten hands. He's a pony. He's a Shetland. And uh, I have another wagon but the hubs on it are, are a sleeve affair and they dry out and they're just seized right up and it's not very strong. It looks nice but it's not a good setup. So, I picked up this running gear a number of years ago uh, at Princess Auto. For you Americans, that's Harbor Freight. Uh, and uh, so I've positioned it, I elongated that shaft in the middle, it can adjust out, I've adjusted it out. And so I've started work on the wagon. So it's gonna, it's gonna look eventually almost like maybe a buckboard kind of thing or I'm not gonna go with the beer wagon high seat. I'm uh, gonna, it's gonna look more like a buckboard. And uh, so I started off with two by 10 runners and they're eight foot long on either side and then wanting to keep the kind of the cost down and the, the make it simple I've taken two by fours and laid them flat I did a test and see if they were strong enough so I've only put four in I may regret that but one two three four and then I took and let me focus and zoom in on this. I put a crosser there at the back and also put a crosser at the front just to give it stability there. There's that 2 by 4 on edge. And then I well, I'll widen this out again. I did an X in the middle just to make sure that there's no tipping going on. So where I'm at right now is I'm ready to start looking at the floor. Now I'm going to put a four foot wide bed in it. I've actually cut the two by fours here, the stringers, to uh, 53 inches. So that's going to leave me two and a half inches on either side on either end overhang and so I've got some brackets I'm gonna have once I have the floor in I'm gonna put up uh, boards on the side that'll make the sides of the bed and it'll give me something to attach the dashboard to and uh, I have brackets made up so that I'll, I'll drill them and, and bolt the brackets in to hold the sides of the bed up. I'll do that to both sides and then uh, start working on a seating arrangement. I think I'm going to have just a, a solid bench, no springs, uh, going the, the width of the bed, 48 inches, and that'll make it so that uh, two people can sit up there quite nicely. And then I have to See, obviously this was set up for something like a lawn, lawn tractor. So uh, I'll keep that tongue because it'll be a nice thing that somebody, you know, in a parade or something can attach it to a lawn tractor and, and still use it in the parade. But uh, uh, I'll make up a, a set of shafts so that I can run it with just tiny. Or and I'll make up a center pole so I can run it with a team as well. And uh, that'll be that'll be how I do that. So I'm just starting to deliberate on color, and do I want to paint it or stain it, or just what do I do? I think before I put the floor on, I'll go ahead and make a decision as to color for the for the base. Maybe go with a basic black and get that done because everything goes with basic black. You can do the top in a nice red, about the color of that tool chest, or, or maybe in a 
school bus yellow color or uh, uh, black and yellow. That was kind of a good Henry Ford combination. Or even go something like that black with that traditional uh, shutter green that you see on a lot of older horse-drawn implements. And uh, that was a common color for wagons and things. So, uh, but I'll probably go with and, and, and put this on into black. So I'll get this all done up before I put floor on. But um, I'm debating on going plywood or planking. Uh, I think maybe going with a uh, with a deck planking kind of setup. It'll give it a a, a nice look and uh, and uh, it should work out just just dandy. Anyways, um, a few features that I I had to adjust for uh, one is you see the semicircles there's a better look on that side and uh, because when you turn the tongue the wheel actually goes underneath and so I had to create space so that would go underneath and not hit so you can now see where there's room and that's not hitting anything. So I did that cutout. And then of course there's a cutout behind because when you turn the other way, just like you see here, there yeah, that wheel is clearing there. So anyways, that's the project. The wagon. So I've got to get some more supplies and then we'll be Putting more together. I'll make another video when I'm farther along in the process. Thanks for watching.